I didn't prepare any intro for today because nothing was scheduled to release. Though I believe I saw Win Reality being on the official store like last week or two weeks ago in the coming soon section. And then it kinda disappeared or got taken down by Meta. Why is that? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> but something might be going on. Also my voice is a little bit different because I'm sick currently. So for some future videos you'll just notice that. <laughs> Enter your info. We have stuff behind me, some people's random statistics. We need to create an account in the external browser. <laughs> Inconvenient, but okay. Wait a minute. I only see <laughs> memberships, but where's the free trial or something? Hold up, hold the fuck up. I'm not playing like this. What will happen if I'll log in normally? <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Are you actually kidding me? There's no way to try it out without paying it up first. <laughs> like that's crazy. And at the same time disgusting. Like as an application on the quest store. I honestly should end the video here but I'll do it just for the channel even though I know it's not gonna be worth it at all. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a member. Well, suck my ass. <laughs> so we have baseball and softball. Well, I'm not familiar with softball at all and we do... I don't know, college aid? We do a setup workout, alright. Before you begin, remove any objects that might come into contact with your controller or bat. Be wary of sudden changes to your training environment. When you're ready to begin, push the button in front of you to continue. So love the graphics it's a 360 photogrammetry stuff so that's pretty amazing and realistic i'll give them that i can notice we're on the floating field because there's a color discrepancy between the actual image and the space we're in <laughs> i understand welcome to win reality you've taken a big step towards becoming an elite hitter let's start your training with three rounds of our batting practice drill in this drill You'll use the virtual bat on your left controller to work on attacking strikes, being on time, and consistently squaring up the ball. Let's get started. This first round is about getting your timing down. We're going to groove 10 fastballs for you in the middle of the strike zone. Load early and attack the fastball. Ready? Mm -hmm. Can I switch my handle or is it just standard from the left one? I mean, options don't work and I can't, no, do anything about it. Oh well. So I'll just like switch my hand. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'll take off my one controller. <laughs> Oh, the model is so interesting. Pretty fun sound effect. Like, intense. I should be, like, on the sides. Wow. I don't even know if I have, like, good position. It doesn't seem like it, but I feel like I hit it. I'm not sure. So I'll move on the original spot. But like he's shooting at my crotch. Yeah, I mean, I should just bounce like that though. <laughs> what? My swing timing is very early. Is it though? I feel like the frame is skipping. Maybe that's why. Things are off. Oh, that's one. <laughs> Jesus. Huh, same place. Good start. Your timing score will show you how many of your swings were on time. Your goal is to get that number as close to 100% as you can. Being out in front or late count against your timing score, so adjust accordingly. I mean, I do really feel like I hit on time, it's just the time frame between the headset, the controller and the ball coming up doesn't seem smooth to me. I'm not a pro in baseball by any means, but that's just my kind of In round thoughts. two, we're going to give you 10 fastballs again, but this time you'll see a mix of balls and strikes. Load early to stay ready and attack the strikes. Swinging at pitches outside the zone will count against you. You got this. Oh, okay. 
still now switching the hand. Okay, I'll just, yeah, do it like that. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I'm gonna fall from my bed. <laughs> My controller. It's gonna be very hard to tell if it's gonna be outside of the box. That's a fault of controller and the wall. <laughs> Finally, one good one. <laughs> Yeah, even with the quest perfect tracking, it can be nifty. Like, essentially you have to control outside of your zone. <laughs> and now the strikes are late for some reason. <sighs> nice work. Notice two more stats here. Your zone swing... I don't care. In round three, you'll put it all together. You'll see 10 more pitches, but this time the pitcher may work in more than just fastballs, just like you would see in a game. Attack strikes, layoff balls, and be on time. Let's go. Do I need to? Let's do it fast and then something fresh. Like you really have to know if they actually pitch correctly. Maybe standing in the middle will help me, but... That's so small. It's not correct position at all. <laughs> Tracking. Oh my god, dude. I'm like done with this. <laughs> yeah, but it was not even a correct swing. But that's how it should be in this application? <sighs> Next! Excellent start. This first batting practice workout gives you a quick feel for just a few of the many things you can do to train and win reality. Using win as a regular part of your training will make you better at attacking strikes, being on time, and more consistently squaring up the ball. A great way to continue your training is to take some more swings in batting practice. To get in some reps, try some of our other drills. To work on specific skills, take a look at your workouts. However you choose to train, go see some pitches, and have fun while you become a better hitter. So what are the options here? Nowhere to be found. It's essentially just batting, which I'm not sure what it does differently than the other games that I've tried. Sure, it seems more professional, but is it even worth the cost? Also, the statistics? Hmm. Do people really call like that? Julia Loveland, Ron Potter. Hmm. Let's do something fast. I don't know, like, it's essentially the same thing. This drill is called disappearing pitch. It trains you to identify the type of pitch that's being thrown as soon as possible. Each pitch will disappear when it reaches the barrier between the plate and mound. At that point, you'll need to choose which pitch type was thrown. Choose correctly, and the barrier will move back towards the pitcher, giving you less time to identify the pitch. Oof. See how far you can get that barrier to move back. We'll give you a detailed score at the end of the round. Get ready. Yeah, that's not for me at all, because my knowledge about pitching almost non-existent. <laughs> so it's just a simulation, okay. Uh, that seemed very straight. <laughs> It seemed curved. I swear if again it's gonna be change up. Okay, change up. 
<laughs> I... I know. As much as I like the professional feel, the graphics and stuff, there's no way in hell anyone would consider it having no free trial at the start and just basically forcing you to try and see for yourself but at a shitty cost for the consumer. Again, I'm not an expert by any means. To me, the placements and the swings feel a little bit off. Mostly because your tracking just disappears when you actually want to hit it. And if I should be blaming it on the headset, I mean, I don't think I've had this problem in any other batting experience, so it is what it is and, well, I hope I will get a refund. <laughs>